Right, I'm going to start to make a set of navigation buttons today in Macromedia Fireworks, which I'm then going to put into Macromedia Dreamweaver 8, which will then be, I'll use as a navigation bar. So, I've already lo loaded Fireworks up on my screen. If we're in school, it's all programs, core programs, Macromedia Fireworks 8. So I'm going to make a new Fireworks file, and I'm going to make it 125 wide by 65 tall. I'm going to let the red resolution stay 72 and the canvas color be transparent. I'm going to use this um, rounded rectangle for the base of my button, but I'm actually going to draw the, the rectangle off the canvas, the grey bit around the outside is the canvas, and if it's off there it's not actually going to show up on the button. So I've drawn a shape here and if I go and make this Let's go for blue today. Then this is going to be my button. But I'm only showing the the top half, if you like, of the button. I'm going to put an outline around this in black. And I'm going to make it two pixels or three. Let's make it two pixels wide. I try and position it then. I just need to make it a fraction smaller. There we go so that we can see both sides of the line. So that's going to be the basis for one of my buttons there. Go up a little bit more to make it fit the canvas. And then I'm going to put the text on there and this button is going to be for home. So there's my text home. So a black arrow there allows me to move it where I want it to go. So I put a capital H on it. Try again. Go to the text tool. Home. Back to the black arrow. Obviously, I can change the font here if I wish. I think I'll leave mine on Century School Book. Here's my font size, which I could change. There we go, let's make it 32. And in order to keep the style, I'm going to go back to the stroke option, choose the black outline around it. That's going to be the normal up state. So that's how the button's going to look before the user rolls over it. Okay? So I'm going to save this in my tutorials folder as home underscore up okay, let's get rid of the untitled one so I've got home up so what I could do then is I'm going to just change the text on each of the buttons on each of the upstates so it's going to be home then I'm going to call it news and I'll do file save as news up then I'll say I need another page for Biog, I shall do file, save as, call it Biog, up, and then I'll do one for pics, I think, change it to be, say, pics, file, save as, pics, up, so I'm just, I'm keeping the underscore up there and just changing the start of it, but I'm doing save as, so I don't replace the other one with the same title, so I didn't want to just press save, and the home button have the word picks on it. Okay. Last one I'm going to do is links. There we go. File, save as, and then it's going to be links up. Okay. So all I'm going to do then on each of the buttons is change the color of the background. I think so. When they roll over it, I'm going to get want to go from blue to yellow, and I think I will change the text from white to black and the outline from black to white. There we go. So that's going to be now links over. So I'll just change that and rather than links up, change it to links over. Save. Just going to change the, the font, the text now. So links up now becomes, sorry, links over becomes picks and I do save as and this time it's going to be picks over. Then it's going to be news, file, save as news. You can see how quick this is. All I'm doing is just changing then the file name and changing the text on there. Biog, file, save as biog. And then the last one then should be home. Home, file, save as. And then I've got home over save so I've now got all those buttons saved in my 
tutorials folder. So now all I'm going to do is load up Dreamweaver, which on the school one is all programs called programs Dreamweaver 8, Macromedia Dreamweaver 8. And just for the purpose of this, I think I'll put in the banner that I created in the previous tutorial. So I'll do create new HTML, go to the design view, I'll just do insert image to put the banner in first. This is another one that I've done as an example, so let's just find the right folder. My pictures, and then tutorials, I need to find. Not too far. Tutorials, okay, and then I'm going to put in the banner that I made, which is called Simple Web Banner, okay. For the purpose of this, we'll ignore this message. If you're making a proper a proper website, you're going to you should have a folder where you're going to save all your images, and that should be linked to your site. But for the purpose of this, we'll ignore that and I'll press no and just put the banner in. Just put the alt tag in. Fingers crossed the banner will go in. There we go. And then underneath I'm now going to use the wizard to put the navigation buttons in. So if I do insert image objects navigation bar, this comes up here. The first element is going to be your first button which is going to be home. Where is the home button? Oh, there it is. So I want home up first of all. There's home up. Okay. Once again, that message is just coming up because we haven't set up the site. And then I'm going to go to home over. I'll just put these text in here. So there's the first button then. In order to put the next button in, which is going to be biog for me, I think. I'll go then browse. Biog up. Then biog over. Then the next one I'm going to do is news. So I press on the plus again, news. So I want news up, news over. There's news up. So obviously in the over image we want the news over. So obviously it helps if we call up news up, news over, so we know which is the up and over image. Then we want pics. Up image is going to be pics up, obviously. Picks up, and the over image is going to be picks over. And then finally, we've got a new one, then which is going to be links, and we've got links up, and then finally, links over. Oh, too far. Links over, and there we go. So, there's our buttons. If you were creating your actual web page and you knew what the pages were going to be called, which obviously should be at this point, you can then add in here the URL. So the links one should be called links.html. If I went to pics, it could be pics.html. If I go to news, news.html. This means that you just at a later date you don't need to set up the links on the buttons themselves. However, if you do make a mistake with any kind of uh, spelling or you you decide to change the pages, names, then the links obviously won't work. One last thing before I press OK, I've called the home page index because that's going to be the root page. So every time you make a home page, it all becomes, it, it should be called index so that the website knows that that's your home page. Okay? So if I press OK now, Fingers crossed. The there we go. The links have gone in. So now, if I press F12 on the keyboard, that gives me the navigation. I'll save this once again in my tutorials folder. So give me one second to do that. I'll see lots of folders, and I'll call this Mavbar. There we go. And then when the internet loads up, fingers crossed, our banner is in there. And when I roll over each of the buttons, you can see the change color because we've got the up state and the over state. And that looks quite effective. Hope that was useful for you.